Oh hey, deposit box. This looks like a good place to stop and catch our breath. Yeah, you should be safe here for now. Phew, I was so on edge this whole time. Oh, we stopped. I suddenly can't seem to stop shaking. <laughs> Me too. I feel like my vision is going dark. Hey, Slick. Stop that this instant. Whoa, that was a close. Thanks, dearling. Still haven't seen any sign of Pancham or Shalmet. I suppose the real challenge still lies ahead. Everyone, be on your guard. Alright. I don't need two apples. Probably use a buffer of elixirs. Don't need Chesto. Idiot makes you attack one tile in front of you with a blast causing huge damage. So why didn't that happen last Oh, wait. I know what happened last time. I was up against Polyraths, which had the ability... Just like we had the ability damp, which prevents explosions. <laughs> okay. Yep. That's probably what happened. Let's go ahead and withdraw another reviver. Alright. Continue, yes. I hate you too, Slick. Dizzying stare, ooh. Alright, I guess... You know what? No, let's give myself also the ability to do that. Clutch performer. You give myself more defensive of abilities. There's just Zubats picking up apples. Ah, uh, yes. Every Actually, no, I guess there are fruit bats. So. Oh man, are Zubats fruit bats? Everyone beat up the bug. Oh, hi, Steam. Why are you suddenly coming up? I did not sign up for your harassment, Steam. Uh, something tells me it's not going to be possible to reach that emerald all the way in the back. Yeah, no, that was definitely not happening. Hey there, Galette. Oh, and now we've got another Venipede. And now I'm poisoned again. Come on, this 
can't be too far from the stairs now. Probably closer to the center of the floor. Die! Great. Can you guys please finish it off? Thank you, Esper. Why is this thing still alive? There's the stairs. See, I didn't need a peck of berry this time. Beldum picked up clairvoyance. Just pick that up. There we go. Distance dodge, that's useful. And toughness. Oh, let's give myself toughness and... Let's give slick distance dodge. Head forward. <laughs> Golette is a s is confused and asleep. Nice. Big ears. Nobody else needs that. Let's just give me. No, fine, I'll give Slick some HP. Yeah. Die faster, Valdon. Clairvoyance locates items on the floor. Ooh. Hey Gumi, if I set that to you, nope. Why can't I swap to Gumi? Gumi. Gumi. Oh, I can't swap leaders. I guess because Gumi's not part of the team or something. Oh shit, the airlines confused. And now so is Zubat. Oops. Come on guys. Ghost. Fire solves everything.
Time to continue to 10th floor, hooray! Type bulldozer, whoosh. Oh. Nobody really... Actually, no, that would be very helpful for me, shit. Oh, I have to get r whatever. I don't really like big ears. Ears very much. I don't really use it. At least, well, now I. Ch yep. Now I can use all of my other moves on ghosts. Yeah. There is no longer not very effective for me. I'm just gonna keep scratching everything. Okay, seriously, your defense too high. Another type bulldozer. And a confusion guard. Here, Gumi, you get confusion guard. God damn it, slick. Quick attack. This is. Oh man, these poor. That poor blue, confused and asleep. Let's just beat up this too bad because I can. Scratch him. Everyone joined in that beat up. Help. Which longer is this dungeon gonna be, huh? And I don't need to conserve my embers anymore, so I could use them on Venipede instead of getting poisoned. Yeah, uh, Venipede just had a very bad time. Oh, you think I'm scared of you, Hone Edge? I've got Scratch. With Type Bulldozer. Oh, God damn it, Slick. Slick, you're going to rejoin us now, right? Yeah, that's a lot of type bulldozers we're picking up. Uh, let's see here, what's yellow? It's a t physical attack. Oops, wrong one. Use on Pepper. And use also on Pepper. So let's be honest, Pepper's the only one using physical attack. Wow. Scratch! Ow. I'm in pain now. I swear to God. Which one of you fuckers ran off on your own? God damn it, dearling. And you're confused.
Here, Link fainted. Work. Seriously, dear, like, why did you run off? Seriously, stick with us this time. You're not Esper. Like, if Esper ran off on their own, I'd be okay with that. Dearling, though, no. Wait, I just got you a fresh apple. Yeah, you better fail to affect me. How else am I supposed to scratch you? Seriously, slick. Catch up. There you go. We made it pretty far down. I think I hear voices from over that way. L let's go. Uh, Esper, where were the voices coming from? Is that Slick? Slick, is that you? The oh, voice. That's Panchan's voice. Skew me with you too? Please, get us out of here. Oh, that was Shelmet this time. Shelmet, Panchan, can you hear us? Where are you two? I'm not really sure. It's all black. Panchip, Chalice, just hold on. We're going to get you out of there. Oh, you will? That voice. Who's that? It is I, the Darkland Emissary. What? The Darkland? Yark. Ah-ha. Uh -huh. You have come to a forbidden place. None who have come here have ever returned. What? Slick, don't you feet now. Steady on. However, there is one condition on which I may allow you to depart. Condition. Pinch him, show it. You guys. Save us, get us out of here. Here are my conditions. Grant me their spirits, and I swear I will let you go. What? You heard me. Grant their Grant me their spirits. I'll allow you to escape unharmed. Punch him and show it spirits. Do you say? Not such a bad deal, wouldn't you say? Not in your life. Slick. What was that? What did you just say to me? I said that we're never doing that! Crapes I'm scared. Like we give them up for, up for ourselves. I might faint. Pancham and Shaman are so good. Our friends! <laughs> Slick! Slick! You. You will come to regret those words. We're surrounded. Everybody, I'm really sorry. You blame me for all this. No, we all feel the same. You just the can said it. Any any one of us would have done the same. I'll be brave and fight too. Say farewell to your spirits. I am Giratina. Ah. Devourer of innocent spirits such as yours. Ugh. 
I am the Darkland Emissary. Oh boy. Petrify. Quick. And now for murder. Well, that was quick. Death murder kill. Here, like, please go attack here, Tina. Okay, I guess we're fine. And everyone returned to normal. Dear, like, oh, I guess I didn't hit, so it's still petr. Wait, why was it that one time I used the petrify? Wand on Gabite and Slick immediately attacked it. But used the Petrify Orb, everyone's like, yeah, yeah, no, we're fine. We're cool, we won't attack the Petrified enemies. What? Eek. Eek. We did it! We actually beat Giratina? We defeated Giratina! Grrr! We won! So please, give Patch Abbott shell it back! I cannot do that. None can leave this place! You know, you keep saying that. But is that not the case? Before we bow, you said that you would let us go in exchange for the boy's spirits. We had agreed at that time that we wouldn't, that we would have been able to return from this place, would we not? Er, I'm a bit confused now, but, but but I am the Dark Land emissary, so give up on any hope of returning from this place. You even know what you're saying anymore? Shut up! I said. You can't, so you can't, got it? You just can't. Oh, that's enough, so love, sis. What? what? Let's just give it up, so love, sis. What? Doesn't look like these kids are going to get scared now, no matter what we do. Then, yeah, it's fine, we're done here. Thanks for trying so hard, though. <laughs> yeah, I tried so hard. I really did. What? Yeah, so Los, it's all thanks to you that we can even keep it going this long. We really owe you. So please don't cry. <laughs> please, can you explain what's going on? The truth is that gear. That the guillotine you all follow is not the real guillotine at all. It's just an illusion created by Solstice. What? Well, we were just really sorry. All that about guillotine being the Darkland emissary and never returning home? It was all just a lie. We're really, really sorry. What? It was all lies? What in the world is going on here? Okay, let me explain. We live like our journey to try to scare the Pope out of this world. Seeing others carrying in fear is like food to us. What I'm trying to convey is that it's the source of our energy. You get energy from seeing other Pokemon get scared? Yeah, nothing gets us pumped up like seeing somebody trembling in fear. Boo, Rick! 
See, just give me your friend Gooey here, a little fray made our flames this strong. Foosh. So we came here in the hopes of scaring everyone, but eventually we always get fanned out and everyone just ends up getting mad at us. Of course they do, who wouldn't? Then we get chased out of town and have to move on to the next place. And that's how we move from one village to the next all this time. But our usual tricks started getting a bit old and we were stuck in a rut. Until we ended up unable to scare anyone at all. And that's what happened. That's when we met Solosis. Solosis listened to our story and took pity on us in our plight. And eventually he even agreed to help us. He created illusions of frightening Popo with his psychic powers. I didn't even know Gear T existed to the to Solosis. Well, actually, I might have been the one to tell Solosis. I don't remember. That allows us to scare everyone again, once again. Boy, did we ever scare everyone. It was just one smash hit after another. We were just knocking them out of the park, scaring poor villagers left and right. Hey, try not to sound so happy when you're saying that. We a big mess. We even had to have sheriffs come in to investigate. I agree that you've probably taken things too far. Once everyone finds out about this, you probably won't be able to stay here. Well, about that. I feel really bad making any requests I'm causing such a big fuss, but... Please, do you think we could not tell anyone about us being here or the way we tried to scare everyone? What? We get chased out of the village, we'll have to try to find a new home again. We promise that we won't cause any more trouble, though. Please, we're begging you. Will you agree to tell... Will you agree not to tell the other villagers about what happened here? Sure. What? Hold on, Slick. Are you sure about this? We're just gonna forgive them? Yeah, I think it's fine. I forgive them. I don't think they're... They're really bad, though. Seems like they feel bad about it all. A little bit half to scare Poke, but yeah, I already right, so... I mean, this time they went too far, and that's no good. Maybe it's okay if it's just a little. Reasonable amount of scary. No, they should try to do something good for every time they scare every somebody. On the sly, so that nobody notices. Wait, how come you're deciding everything? What does everyone else think? To be honest, I have a hard time following Slick's thinking. Saying that's fine to scare Pokemon. Just a little. How do you measure that? I do think that doing something nice for others is a good idea. But if that's what Slick wants, I suppose I'm alright with it. Esper! I, I think it's okay to go along with Slick's idea too. I mean, I guess. Pretty strange, but I think it might have hooked up alright. Hey, Gilby! Pepper, what do you think? Do you think we should give this Slick like a Slick Sliz? I know the Litwick aren't really cruel Pokemon, so I guess it's alright as long as they realize what they did wrong. Pepper! Yeah, if Slick wants to forgive them, I guess we've got to. After all, Slick was the one who was the most scared by all this. Really, they have to find everyone else most scared. So I guess we are decided. We won't tell anyone about the Litwick. Really, thank you. Thank you so much. Don't forget to do the ice things for others either. Of course, we won't forget. We'll be sure to do good things. We won't let anyone know either. And no more big pranks like this was. That deal, even Mr. Farfetch wasn't harmed. It's still not right to go kidnapping Pope. Oh, speaking of kidnapping. Oh yeah, what well, about Pear Champ and Shove it? Oh, yeah. Slow as we would. Yeah. Yeah. You guys, ah, ah, it was so scary. Thank goodness, you're both okay. Come on, I, it's time we all headed home. 
So the children wrapped up their adventure, having proved their mettle, and each returned to his or her, her own home safe and sound. They slipped it quietly so that none of the adults would notice, except for Slick and Pepper. You, you little fools! What do you think you're doing running around in the middle of the night? And sneaking out to do so without a lick of permission from us. Well, now I don't think that's all so bad as you say. What are you saying? You're far too lenient on these kids. A child steps out of line of scolding is what you used to get him back in line. At least Karakos does not enter beating. Now step up to the task. Uh, Pops, I'm really sorry. I don't know, maybe it's all the nerves. I'm suddenly bushed, so I'm going to bed. Good night. No, no just a bit, Slick. We're not done talking about this. Wake yourself up right this minute. Ah, oh, convenient time to pass out. That's how you're going to play it? Then Pepper, I guess you alone get the pleasure of being lectured by me. What? I hope you're ready. Ugh. Because you... It's because you inconsider a little rascal for a group. <laughs> but then, even now, common sense... <laughs> so, Pepper. And up on the receiving end of one of Karakosta's infamous lecture. Unable to escape until nearly dawn, and all in Slick's place. Find out what happens next on Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon. See you guys then. Goodbye.